When you move into a home, you're likely not going to have all the furniture you need. So what size of furniture do you need to get? Well, you need a tape measure to figure that out. Maybe you're going to hang some curtains or some blinds. You're not going to know what size you need unless you have one of these tape measures. And there are many different tape measures out there. Some are more expensive than others, but to get started, all you need is a basic tape measure like this one here, or you can pick one up at Ikea if you already have your measurements and you just forgot to take one with you. This will do a good enough job for the tasks that we're going to be doing today. Now that you're in your new home, you need to make sure that your family is going to be safe and you should get a CO2 sensor. Don't make the common mistake and get a fire alarm and CO2 sensor. A CO2 is heavier than air, so you want to make sure that your sensor is low to the ground. That's why the combo alarms don't work as fire alarms are placed on the ceiling and by that point you would have an entire room of CO2 before the alarm would sound. To install a CO2 alarm, you can leave it low to the ground like I'm doing here, or you can get a little bit fancier and install it on the wall. But we'll be using the next two tools that I have on this list to help us out with that. To install the CO2 sensor, you're going to need a tape measure from before, as the perfect height for a CO2 sensor is 12 inches from the ground. Now that you have the height, you need to make sure that you won't hit any cables or studs when mounted to the wall by using a stud finder. For heavy items, you may want to mount them to a stud or get larger wall anchors like these. No, not all stud finders are created equally, so make sure you get a good one as you don't want a false negative, then you end up hitting a cable. Nobody wants to get electric good. If you want more recommendations on the tools and products I use around the house, head down to the description and grab my free tool guide for homeowners. Now that you've used our stud finder to locate any cables and studs, you can use this next tool to make a hole in the wall so you can put a wall plug in there and then use the drill to screw the screw into the wall and that secures the CO2 sensor in place via the back bracket. If you install the next two products, you'll need this drill as well because it makes installation really simple. The drill is a handy application like this, or if you're hanging an overpriced oil painting that you got in Italy that's heavier than it looks. Because you have a new house, you may not have furniture, and a drill like this comes in really handy and will save you a ton of time when building IKEA furniture or similar awkward chairs to build like these. You've made sure your family will be alerted if there's CO2 present, but what about intruders, fire, or water leaks? Simply Safe Home Security System has been our choice for years and works really well at securing the interior of your home. The next product I'll share with you will secure the exterior, but more than Simply Safe. Simply Safe are continuously expanding our lineup to offer solutions for your home. This water detector will alert me if my well equipment leaks. If there's a fire, our smoke detector will sound, and Simply Safe will call us and 911 to get the fire and rescue out to the house. Most importantly, if someone breaks into your home, Simply Safe will alert you and call the police, hopefully scaring the intruder off the inside of our home safe, we use Blink to make sure the perimeter of our home is secure. With motion cameras and video doorbells, the doorbell is great, especially with the holiday season just past as this acts as a deterrent for anyone trying to steal packages. The hope is that these cameras would alert us before anyone breaks in, like if someone pulled into our drive, we would be notified. Or if a package is left on our doorstep, we can check in to make sure it's still there, and if someone did want to steal it, we would catch them on camera. You made sure your home is safe inside and out, but what if the power goes out? This is where you need a generator like this one here or a permanent Generac or similar model from another brand. Make sure to keep your family warm or cool depending on where you are and when the storms come through. There's nothing worse than being without power. If you're looking for a cheaper option, a generator that hooks up to your house like this is for you. But you'll have to manually turn it on, which can be a pain. If you have a larger budget, an automatic Generac would be a good option and will turn on without any assistance if you lose power. If you want to find out more tools that I like to use around the home, you should check out this free PDF I've got here or down in the description below.